Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded semicircle with the center O and the green shaded rectangle uh, DEPF, fully confined uh, in a blue rectangle uh, ABCD, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this point P is the only point of their contact. And moreover, the area of this uh, yellow semicircle has been given to us as 50 times pi centimeter square. Whereas uh, for this uh, green rectangle, uh, the length uh, is uh, 6 centimeter and the width uh, is uh, 4 centimeter. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue rectangle uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, semicircle. And we are going to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Let me label the radius as uh, lowercase r. And we are going to find the value of uh, radius r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with this uh, semicircle, so therefore uh, the semicircle uh, area formula is going to be pi r square divided by 2. And in our case, uh, the area of this semicircle has been given to us as uh, 50 times pi. So I'm going to fill in the blanks. Uh, so I can write this thing as uh, pi r square divided by 2 is going to be equal to 50 times uh, pi. And now we can see this pi and pi cancels out from both sides. So therefore uh, r squared divided by 2 is going to be equal to 50. And now I am going to multiply both sides by 2. And I'm going to multiply on this right hand side by 2 as well. So therefore we can see this 2 and 2 cancels out. So therefore uh, r squared is going to be equal to 100. And now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be 10 uh, centimeter. So thus our radius uh, r turns out to be 10 centimeter for this uh, yellow semicircle. In other words, uh, this uh, AO is the radius uh, 10 centimeter and likewise uh, OB length uh, is uh, 10 as well. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this point P with these uh, points uh, A and B as well. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, A, B and P are uh, three distinct points uh, on the circle, where the line uh, A, B is the diameter, then the angle uh, APB is going to be a right angle. In other words, it's going to be a 90 degree angle. So no wonder our this angle uh, APB is going to be a 90 degree angle since this uh, AB is the diameter and the points uh, A, B and uh, P are on the semicircle. And in this uh, next step, I have extended uh, this uh, line FP all the way to this uh, point uh, Q. And since we are dealing with this uh, green rectangle, so no wonder this angle is going to be 90 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this segment uh, EP is 4. So therefore uh, this segment uh, AQ is going to be 4 as well. And now we know that this uh, whole uh, diameter AB is uh, 10 plus 10 is going to give us uh, 20 centimeter and we know this segment uh, AQ is 4 so therefore uh, this segment uh, QB is going to be 20 minus 4 is going to give us uh, 16 and since we are interested in calculating the area of the blue rectangle uh, ABCD and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area is always equal to length uh, times the width and we can see the length uh, of this uh, blue rectangle is uh, 20 centimeter. However, the width uh, this side uh, is uh, unknown. So I'm going to label uh, this uh, width uh, as uh, x. 
and then this uh, width uh, AD is going to be X uh, as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, side AD is uh, same as this uh, side length uh, FQ. So therefore uh, this uh, FQ length is going to be same uh, X uh, over here. And furthermore, we know this uh, this segment uh, FP is uh, 6. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, PQ is going to be X minus 6. So I can write this one as uh, X uh, minus 6. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, the sum of these two angles, uh, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is uh, alpha and we know this whole angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And moreover, in this uh, triangle, this angle is uh, alpha, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And likewise, in this uh, other triangle, this angle is beta, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And now we can see that this uh, small right triangle uh, AQP and this uh, other right triangle BQP are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore, we are going to have uh, proportions. In other words, uh, the ratio of side lengths uh, PQ and uh, AQ is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, BQ and PQ. And now let's make an observation. We can see how this uh, PQ length is being represented by X minus 6. So I'm going to replace that one with the X minus 6. And likewise, this uh, PQ is going to be X minus 6 uh, as well. And moreover, this uh, segment AQ in our case uh, is uh, 4. So therefore, I'm going to replace that uh, AQ segment uh, with 4. And finally, this uh, segment uh, BQ is uh, this segment and this is uh, 16. So therefore, I'm going to replace that one with 16 over here. So therefore, we can write uh, X minus 6 uh, divided by 4 equal to 16 divided by x uh, minus 6 uh, as well and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore uh, we are going to have uh, x minus 6 uh, whole square equal to 16 times 4 is going to give us 64 and i'm going to take the square root uh, on both sides to undo this uh, square so therefore we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore, x minus 6 uh, turns out to be equal to 8. And now we are going to add 6 on both sides. This 6 and negative 6, they are gone. So therefore, uh, our width uh, x uh, turns out to be 14 uh, centimeter. So the width uh, of this uh, blue rectangle turns out to be 14. So thus we conclude uh, that the length uh, of this blue rectangle is uh, 20 centimeter because uh, the length has uh, same as uh, this uh, diameter and the width uh, x value we just figured out is 14 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this blue rectangle ABCD and now let's recall once again the area of rectangle formula area equals to length times the width. So therefore, this uh, blue rectangle area is going to be 20 times the width uh, is uh, 14. And if we multiply right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 280 centimeter square. So thus the area of this uh, blue rectangle turns out to be 280 centimeter square. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.